Good morning, guys. Denise Guru here again, and I just wanted to let you know that I had another very interesting dream last night, and um, I've been getting a lot of dreams the last couple of years, but I've just always been too um, nervous <laughs> to share them, but because it seems like a lot of people with this event coming, a lot of people are being contacted through their dreams. And um, this last one um, I had, and it was so vivid, and it woke me up at three o'clock in the morning, and, and it was like, you need, you, you need to share this. So once again, guys, use your discernment. I don't want to put anything in anybody's heads. I'm just sharing this because it just seems like a lot of people are um, having dreams and maybe there's something there that somebody is seeing that is the same as I am seeing. And, you know, maybe there's correlations um, going on here. Um, so remember, use your own discernment, any, anything that I say. Um, but the dream was really interesting. It, the, the, the thing about this dream was it, it started out the same as what other people have been saying. Um, always this light, this smoky, bright light, a lot of people seeing light coming, you know, this wave of light coming. Whether we're going to see this physically or not, I don't know, it remains to be seen, but in my dream, it was the same thing. This, it was not a bright white light, so I'm gonna be a little bit different. It was actually a rose color light, and it came like a sandstorm, um, but it was rose colored, uh, the, the color of love, I guess, if you wanna say. Um, and it came and it was, it was just like a sandstorm. It was just coming and it was rolling and it was coming and just encompassing everything. And I was in, I believe I was in a store because everybody in the store, we were all looking out this window, watching it come. Well, I knew in the dream, I knew exactly what it was. And all these other people in the store were just, a lot of them were just frozen in fear. And some of them were coming up to me going, do you know what this is? And I'm like, yes, I know what this is. You know, there's nothing to fear. So, you know, I'm doing my work in the dream. Um, and you know, it's really funny because I had a session with Steve and Stephen Papiotech. Um, you might have seen our video and um, actually had a session with him and in the session he says, you know, it's really funny. He says, because I can see you, you are like the fairy godmother and I can see you whispering in everybody's ears in, at night in their sleep, telling them, you know, it's going to be okay and, 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 and giving them encouragement and um, helping them out. So I was doing this in the stream. And so I was helping these people with this wave coming, but what's really interesting in this light, we could see beings. And they, they were, it was like, oh, remember Lord of the Rings? You know, when um, they have to take Frodo to Rivendell because Frodo got stabbed um, by the, 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 uh, the wraiths and he had the poison in him. And so Ar Arwen, is that what her, yeah, Arwen, was taking him and the, the rice were following behind and she goes across the river and she stops and she says her magical spell and the water comes rushing and you can see the horses in the water. That always makes me cry. <laughs> I'm such a horse person. Um, and so that's kind of like what, what I was seeing, but it was beings and I'm, I'm not, um, I'm not a angel person, but to me, the beings with the energy, the energy around the beings gave the illusion of wings. So I just thought that was kind of really weird. But um, so the, the wave just came in and it, you know, it just enveloped all of us. And all of a sudden, all the beings were here. 
they, and we were all, it was, it was like a huge reunion and everybody was talking and everybody was laughing and you know, people are like, oh, I didn't even know I was here, you know, but now I realize why I'm here. And so <clears throat> it was like a big reunion. This wave brought in, you know, the other beings, the other ETs, um, you know, that, that are coming in to uh, help us and work with us. And, you know, we're going to work with each other. So I just thought that was a very interesting dream. And it was at three o'clock in the morning and it woke me up. And, you know, I had to work earlier. It's like, I'll remember this dream. Please let me remember this dream. And so um, I just wanted to let you know about that. And I also want to say, too, that there's, you know, a lot of people are using the word hope. And, you know, for me, I don't, I just think that word is a past tense word or a future tense word. It's like something that we're always looking for to happen in the future. It's, it, it's, it's you know, something expectant that's going to ha happen, something that we're looking forward to. And I think that time has passed. You know, we're done using the word hope. It's now, it's here. There's just way too many people being contacted or way too many people having feelings and um you know i just had this i just have a lot of feeling you know that you know it's happening and so i don't want to use the word hopeful um you know we can manifest this we just have to change the way we think about it it's already happened every thought has already been every thought you know because we were because we are thinking about this and because we are dreaming about this it means it's already there it's it's already there because we're not talking about linear time here um so we are just um rising yourself up to that platform of where it's at and so many of us are already feeling it we're bringing in that feeling you know we're getting closer to that light and so yeah, we're, we're really in interesting times. Um, and you know what else is so weird? I, have you noticed this? It's like you're just not interested in any of the, for most of us who are already getting on that higher platform, we're just not interested in any of the conspiracy stuff anymore. It's like, I've been there, I've done this, I've already done this before. It's like we, it's like this is this, this has happened before. And um, the ascension is already done, but a lot of us have held back to help others. And so the time is, is past and we're just not interested in, in the conspiracy stuff anymore. We're not interested in the ET disclosure. It's like, we know all of this already. We know all of this. And so our job is to hold this light. And I know there still are those out there that are doing their job, but I think the rest of us, we are supposed to step up higher and hold this light so, you know, we can help those who are still down in the trenches. Um, and so a lot of us are like, you know, I'm just bored. Um, I can't um, go on YouTube anymore and look at any of the ET stuff. Um, the oh we found more skulls and it's like we're beyond that i mean we we know that already we don't want to hear that anymore we you know so i think that's why a lot of us are just moving up into the things that we're seeing and and we're we're now um building that energy and we're now moving into um this process of ascension and so i just thought that was um um, kind of interesting that I just I just don't want I don't want to talk about any of that conspiracy stuff anymore I've already been there. I've already done that. I've worked through that There are still some who need to work through that But I think that's what the, the light is going to do the light is going to help You know those with that and you know, like we know it's a choice and others will be taken off planet and um, um, A lot of us will choose maybe to go to our other homes and not stay 
Um, we've done our job. So many of us have already left. We've already done what we contracted to do. So many of us have done this before that they didn't need to stay for the final moment because they've already experienced the final moment. I think, you know, because so many of us are knowing uh, people that who checked out and, uh, you know, a lot of them, I think they've done, they're, they've fulfilled their contract, so they don't need to be here anymore for this. And, um, you know, so we'll have this reunion. But, you know, it's interesting because back in 2015, when I had my quantum hypnosis uh, therapy session, I was, you know, talking about this huge gathering this great gathering that's going to happen. And at that time, we really didn't understand what that meant. And so when I had this dream and how it just was this big reunion, this big gathering, it kind of re reminded me of my session. So it's going to happen. I, you know, I, we just got to put that out there that it's already happened. We're just catching up to that. And, um, and I know a lot of people are starting to have dreams and I found that very interesting. And I just wanted to put it out there too. If you got, if there's anybody out there that's been having really interesting dreams, I would love to have you on. I mean, we could do a, a group zoom session and we could all talk about our dreams and compare and share. I think that's more important now than ever. You know, these YouTube channels, it's time for everybody to be able to share. It doesn't make any difference who you are or what you do or what your credentials are. We all chose to be here at this time and we all have, have, we all have jobs to do and we're all doing our jobs. And uh, I think just a lot of people are just still a little worried about coming forward as I was. Um, it's easier for me to talk to other people um, you know, nobody, <laughs> nobody wants somebody else to look at them and say, oh, you're just full of shit. You know, that's, uh, we don't want that. But, you know, like I said, use your own discernment when you watch any of these or when you watch or anything that I say, it might not resonate with you. You might be on a different path, a different journey. I mean, there's just a billion scenarios that we're all going through, but maybe there's somebody out there who is experiencing the same kind of things that I am. And so I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. And what do they say? Victory to the light. Um, in other words, mine's rose light. So um, keep in touch, everyone. And we're in interesting times. And just keep looking upward and onward. And let's get this done. Talk to you soon.